very good morning to all of you children welcome back to the second term hope you all enjoyed your vacations right okay now in the previous video we learned about the types of maps in today's video we are going to learn about the language of maps a map shows a large area on a small piece of paper it gives all the detailed information maps can be carried from one place to another easily to read a map correctly and accurately it is necessary to understand the language of a map every map has colors directions signs symbols and scale this is called the language of the map let's start from directions there are four major directions north south east and west these are called the cardinal directions these are universally accepted the countries all over the world use the same system of directions all maps follow the same system of showing directions the top part of the map is north the bottom part is south to the right is east and to the left is west is that clear sub directions or intermediate directions the direction halfway between north and east is called the north east in the same way the direction halfway between north and west is called the north west the direction halfway between south and east is called the southeast similarly the direction halfway between south and west is called the southwest there are four major sub directions or intermediate directions they are north east north west south east and south west let us move on to scale we know that the earth is huge in size so it is not possible to show its actual size on a map maps are very small in size therefore while making maps we reduce or scale down actual size of a place in order to fit it into a given space this reducing has to be done very carefully children if not the map will not be a correct representation of the place let us look at an example the actual distance between delhi and kolkata is around 1400 km on the ground but when we measure the distance on a map we find that the distance between them is 14 cm so we can say that a distance of 1400 km on the ground is shown through 14 cm on the map scale 1 cm is equal to 100 km 1 cm on the map represents 100 km on the ground the scale of a map 
is the ratio between the map distance and the ground distance. A map without a scale is called a sketch. Look at this picture. It's a rough drawing, right? A sketch is a rough drawing of the place that is not drawn to a scale. For example, you are inviting your friend to your house and your friend does not know the route. Now what will you do, children? Quickly, you will draw a sketch and explain the route to your friend, right? A sketch can be drawn very quickly. There are different types of scale, okay? Such as verbal statement, representative fraction and linear scale. We shall be learning about this in higher classes, children. Let's move on to conventional signs or symbols. Maps provide us a lot of information in little space. It is impossible to label everything on the map. Just imagine children, if you label each and everything or every feature on a map, the total map would look messy. It will not look neat and clean. So we use many types of signs and symbols, you know, to show various kinds of information on a map. Conventional symbols are used and accepted universally. For example, a capital city is marked on a map by a small circle enclosed within a bigger circle. A list of some symbols generally used is given here, right? You must understand the meaning of these signs and symbols to read a map easily, children. You should memorize these symbols. Fine. Yeah, coming to colors. Different colors are used to show various landforms on a map. These colors help us to read the maps easily without any confusion. Maps usually follow the same pattern of colors. Water bodies like oceans, rivers, seas and lakes are shown in blue color on a map. Green color depicts plains or lowlands. Mountains and highlands are shown in brown. Plateaus are marked in yellow. That's all for today, children. Hope you have understood the language of maps. Thank you and have a nice day.